Okay, this is module 18 for the 320 modules in Alex. So the first topic is covering, I'm sorry, converting between radical form and exponent form. So it says write the following as an exponential expression. So first we need to know what the rule is. And this rule is located in that notes um, packet that you received in class. But there's a rule on there that says um, in to the a to the m is the same as n to the a to the m, but it's also the same in exponent form as m over n. So we don't have this form in the problem that we're given. There's no parentheses at all, and the exponent is not outside the parentheses. What we have is this form, and we want to convert that into this form. So we just need to keep our base, which is the 10, as the base, and then we need to put the exponent in the numerator and the index of the radical in the denominator. So my exponent is five and the index of my radical is seven. Now it's not asking me to compute this. I don't need to type it in my calculator or anything like that. It literally just wants me to write it in this new form. So that problem is complete. Now the next um, topic says rational exponents, unit fraction exponents, and whole number bases. So here it wants me to evaluate these two things. Now there's two ways to do it. One, I can type it straight into the calculator and I can type in 64 as my base. You type in this pop, um, button for my exponent and then type in a fraction one over three and it will tell me the answer is four. However, you could also convert it to its form its radical form and then type the radical form in the calculator. So this in its radical form would be the cube root of 64 to the first power, which is just the cube root of 64. And I know that that's four, just cause four times four times four is 64. But if I type in three and then second square root, the square root with a little box right there, It'll put the three in that little box and then I can type 64 in my calculator. Again, it still tells me four, okay? So whichever method you prefer, I mean, honestly, just typing them in the calculator like that is probably gonna work the fastest, but when you have variables as your bases, you cannot type X to the one third in your calculator. You would have to do that on your own. So it is a little bit helpful to know how this is gonna convert into a radical and then simplify that radical, okay? But for this problem, I'm pretty sure the answer is two but that's because I'm doing it in my head. In my head, I'm saying this is the fourth root of 16 to the one power, which is the 14th root of 16, and two to the fourth is 16, so that's how I knew the answer was two. If I didn't know that, I would type 16 exponent fraction one over four, and then hit enter, and it would give me two. So it is helpful to know what these exponent, uh, fraction exponents represent. Now I'm sorry if I get a little bit of glare coming on here. Um, this is just giving you the camera. <laughs> so it's reflecting off the camera. And then my desk is actually made of glass so you might see some reflecting going on in there. Um, I apologize for that. Again, I was not expecting to work from home, right? And none of us were. So we just gotta kind of make do with what we've got. So I'll continue. Um, the next topic is rational exponents unit fraction exponents and bases involving signs. So these you have to be very careful that you type them in your calculator exactly as they are on the paper, okay? If you do not type them in your calculator exactly as they are in your, on the paper, you could possibly get a wrong answer, okay? So here, if I type that in my calculator, if there's parentheses here, I need to include parentheses in my um, calculator. So notice that this looks exactly like what's on my paper. So when I hit enter, I get negative seven. Same thing for here, negative 25. I think I'm jumping around because that's C, but it's okay. Um, one half. Um, notice this time it says domain error. That's when I would click on the response, not a real number. Okay, 
Here, there's no parentheses. So when I type that in, I would not type in any parentheses. So again, what's on my calculator matches exactly what's on my paper. If I hit enter, I get negative seven. Negative eight raised to the one fraction three and I get negative two. So the key thing here is just make sure if there's parentheses in the problem, you include parentheses in your calculator. So let's look at the next topic.